You know, it was about uh, two or three years ago, I was in D.C. for a meeting of the U.S. Conference of Mayors, and John W. Franklin invited me uh, to take a tour of uh, the Smithsonian Museum, the National Museum of African American History and Culture. And he took me through and we walked into a room, it's probably about half the size of this tent. And on all three sides of that room, they had blown up this photograph that was taken probably right over in this area about two days after the race massacre occurred. And it's one thing to see that in small photographs or in books or on TV or on your computer, but to see it blown up life-size, uh, to, to see the devastation, to see people in tents trying to rebuild their lives, it was a, a powerful moment. And I remember turning to John at the time and saying, you know, I wish we could find a way to bring every kid in Tulsa here to see this, because it's so important for our community. And now, I think about what this facility will mean. I think about the fact that 99 years ago, people murdered our neighbors, and then they covered it up for decades. They told Tulsans not to talk about it, not to teach it, not to report on it, and they didn't. And I think about how they almost got away with that. And what I'm grateful for, one of the many things that I'm grateful for with this facility, is that every kid that walks in this building, every person that walks in this building, every Tulsan that walks in this building, every person from around the world who comes to Tulsa, Oklahoma to walk in this building, that will be a rebuke to those who murdered our neighbors and tried to cover it up and tried to hide it from history, tried to prevent people from learning about what happens when hate can win the day. And that's why it's so important to Tulsa. It's also important because it will be focused on the people. We're going through a search right now for the graves from 1921. And as we talk, both in our technical team with our Citizen Oversight Committee, throughout that process we always talk about how, first and foremost, this has to be about the people, the people that were impacted, about being able to tell their stories, to do right by them, to honor them. And that's what this facility will do.